Hello, I'm Bob Rodriguez at SAS. Today I would like to introduce you to the HP split procedure in SASDAT software. The HP split procedure builds tree models for classification and regression. Classification trees model a categorical response and regression trees model a continuous response. Classification trees are used to make decisions in many fields from financial services to medicine. In this presentation, we'll build a classification tree to decide which variety of grape was used to produce a sample of Italian wine. The training data in this example consist of 178 samples of wine from three different grape varieties referred to as cultivars. The predictors are 13 chemical measurements of each sample, including flavonoid content and color intensity. All of these predictors are continuous, although in general they can be continuous or categorical. A tree model splits the predictor space into segments which define the leaf nodes of the tree. The splitting is done in a recursive way. To see how this works, let's simplify the data. Suppose there are only two predictors, flavonoid content and color intensity. The scatter plot of these two variables represents the root node, which contains all the data. The symbol colors identify the three cultivars. The first split selects a predictor and split point that minimize the variability across the child nodes. Here, the first split divides the root node into two child nodes, depending on whether the flavonoid content is less than or greater than 1.572. Node 1, the node on the left contains all the blue points and some of the green points. In other words, node 1 contains all the samples from the third cultivar and some from the second. The second split divides node 1 into two child nodes, node 3 and node 4, based on whether the color intensity is less than or greater than 3.624. All the samples in node 3 come from the second cultivar and almost all the samples in node 4 come from the third cultivar. This process continues, resulting in leaf nodes with little or no variability. Now let's run the HP split procedure on the complete data with 13 predictors. Here is the tree diagram produced by the procedure. The diagram shows all the splits, starting with the root node at the top. The tree has eight leaf nodes, and for each leaf node, there is a split rule which assigns the samples in that node to one of the cultivars. The HP split procedure provides many features for specifying how tree models are to be built and for creating tree diagrams. The syntax of the procedure is familiar. You use the class and model statements to specify the response and the predictor variables. In addition, you use the grow statement to specify how splits are assessed as the tree is grown, and you use the prune statement to specify how the fully grown tree is to be pruned back in order to avoid overfitting. In our example, the HP split procedure built a tree with eight leaves. A tree of this size minimizes the average misclassification rate. But you might be wondering whether a smaller subtree might do just as well. The procedure answers this question with an analysis of cost complexity. The plot shows that a tree with only three leaves will give you nearly the same misclassification rate. The statements shown here rerun the procedure, requesting a final tree with three leaves. Not only does this tree generalize well to future data, but it is also highly interpretable because the rules for the leaf nodes are so simple. For example, if the flavonoid content is less than 1.572, the sample is assigned to cultivar 3. The HP split procedure supports both cross-validation and external validation for selecting tree models that avoid overfitting and generalize well to future data. In summary, the HP split procedure gives you another avenue to statistical modeling among the many that are already available in SAS stat. An advantage of tree models is that they are easy to explain, especially if the tree is small. 
On the other hand, tree models may not be as accurate for prediction as parametric regression models, and the tree size must be tuned to avoid overfitting. The HB split procedure provides a wealth of methods for growing and pruning trees, along with options for handling missing values, creating graphs, and producing scoring code. If you'd like to learn more about new methods for statistical modeling in SASSTAT, visit support.sass.com statistics. There you will find many helpful resources, including short videos and overview papers written by research statistician developers in SAS R&D. You can also sign up for an electronic newsletter that is sent out quarterly. Thank you for listening.